back. Now, many people associate church or any place of worship with safety, peace, and higher religious ideals. But what would you think if right inside the holy walls, a so-called man of God defiled a nine-year-old girl? That is just one of the many stories of young girls in various parts of this country. Tonight, Citizen TV's Purity Mwambia exposes the intricate web of deception, cover-up and conspiracy of silence by the church, state officials and agencies caught up in the endless chain of sexual abuse by rogue men of the cloth. Your father can be back and be able to it is hard to believe, but it's happening. Her face partially covered, exposing her troubled eyes. Police brought her into the room to identify the suspect. <laughs> Father Wambili, a suspected pedophile. At the age of 12, it is literally the darkest moment in the life of this girl, whom we shall call Mercy, not her real name. She will never be able to erase the events of that day from her mind. The events took place inside the holy walls of this church. The Legion Maria headquarters in Korogosho slums on one Friday in the month of February 2019. It's still fresh in her mind more than three months later. Kuna skingina po dilikuwa ni menda church kuwa kunini kuimba ndio nikaenda usingizi kanishika nikaenda kwa sitting room kulala ndio ufadha kanibeba kanipeleka kwa kitanda akaanza kunifanya tabia mbaya Masi says this was the second time the father, the so-called holy man of God, was defiling her. She is an orphan and her grandmother, as usual, had allowed her to go to the church alongside other young girls and boys to prepare for Sunday Mass. Church yetu inaitwa Saint Teresa Kariobanki na nilejo Maria. Watoto huenda Friday jioni. Wakienda Friday jioni wanalala. Wakisaimba kwaya wanalala. Ikifika saa 9 ya usiku wanaenda presidium. Presidium wanaenda wanaomba wanavua manguo white. Wanaenda wanaomba wakichoka sasa wanaenda kulala. After every defilement, the man of the cloth would lavish his victim with goodies in an attempt to wash away the crime. The money was at times too much the girl would even share it with her grandmother. Hata kuna siku mtoto alisema mam father amenipatia 200 sinishikie pesa. Nikasema father amekupatia 200 yani hata amesema niende ni buy kitabu. Ndio sasa hata maneno bila lilokelezea kwa shule nikasema ile 200 mtoto alinipatia kumbe ni hiyo pesa hiyo. Masi was so traumatized by the ordeal that she stopped going to the church. But her teacher would later learn of it in school after a classmate made fun of her. Ini ni uma zaidi. Kama mfadha mkubwa anaeza kunitendea kitendo kinyama kivu. Nilisikia kama ina ni uma. Mbaka kwa royangu niseme ni wache kanisa. Niende, ni wache tunikai. 
kwa sauti kanisa ya Mungu ni kitu ambao ni mzuri unasema jioni mtoto aende chachi ndio asipatane na mabaya zile za mtaa hasa tena nikapeleka mtoto kwa kwa chui kukuliwa huko a grandmother reported the case here at the Korogosho Liverpool Center but the advice she got baffled her mkuu children aliniambia hii hata ukikuja nayo hapa hakuna evidence ile itakusaidia wewe wacha mtoto aende church tena huyo aenda o father aenda amfanyie hiyo tabia mbaya akuje hapa kama jaoga tumpeleke tena hospitali ndio nifuatilie hiyo maneno lakini saa hii siwezi iwezekani It was so shocking and disturbing that the very office set up to protect victims would ask a minor to go get herself defiled one more time before they could act. So, I decided to go undercover. The first day, the grandmother gets into this office. We are recording from outside. She gets the same advice. Mwenye menelezea leo wanaenda kukesha. Sasa nilikuwa nasema kama wewe msichana wangu unaweza kunisaidiana aje ama nitume mtoto aende. Eh? Aende. Sawa. She comes out looking puzzled and disturbed. We send her back on a different day. Si nisaidie mama, unielezee bila. Nishakwambia kitu ya kufanya. Nataka nikuelezee mara Christine gets irritated and asks her to bring in the girl the following day to instruct her on what to do. The girl is brought in. I asked the grandmother not to do it. But when we confronted Christine, she became violent. Hi Christine. I'm sorry. My name is Chris Mwambia Mkwa. Excuse me. We are trying to pull up the place. Christine is in charge of this Liverpool Centre clinic here in Korogosho. We spoke with lawyers specialized on issues touching on minors for practical advice. Ideally, we advise victims of sexual and gender-based violence to seek medical attention within a span of 72 hours. That's ideal. But you know, more often than not, because of lack of awareness, lack of knowledge, most victims will not do that. But that does not mean that they do not have a case. Therefore, the advice she got, unfortunately from a children's officer, is um, ill advice. Um, this children's officer, what he or she ought to have done was to give this uh, victim the correct process in as far as reporting the case is concerned. We should be report the matter to the police. We let advise the grandmother to report the case to the police. And that's why the police are here today to arrest the suspect. Father Wambili was quick to deny the allegations. The case is now before the Makadara law courts. Again, I meet with Mary, not her real name, along the thicker road. She's taking her nine-year-old daughter to the hospital. Let's call her daughter, Sharon. 
again, not her real name. Sharon was allegedly defiled by her next door neighbor a few months ago. Tunaenda clinic yako yake ya tano. Eh. Clinic ya kwanza ilikuwa wakati alishikwa. Alienda na akaweza kupimwa HIV. Tukaenda clinic ya pili alidugwa shetani. Ya tatu tukaenda guidance and counseling. Ya ine akarudiwa tena vipimo za HIV. Eh na sasa leo ndio tunaenda ya tano ya guidance and counseling. She finally gets to the clinic. Our cameras are not allowed in here. Her mother later helps us to trace the scene to paint a picture of the horrific crime. Nilikuwa tarehe 26 December last year. Nilikuwa nimemtuma nimetuma mtoto kwa duka around Masaya 5 jioni. Nilikuwa nimemtuma niende Royco Cubes. Lakini vile niliona amekaa sana nilitumwa sister yake aende amwangalie kwa duka sister yake akaja akaniambia hamuoni kwa jia na hamuoni kwa duka sister yake vile alienda kumtafuta ndio alienda mahali wanachezeanga akampata na huko nyuma kwa shamba sasa kulingana na vile nilimuuliza ni nini kimetendeka aliniambia ameshikwa na na jirani So wakiwa pale kwa geti mtoto wangu alimwambia ende ulukie pale kwa hii geti kwa hii geti hmm. lakini yeye akamwambia hapana hmm. twende mpaka hapo unionyeshe ni wapi hmm. vile walifika hapa mtoto akieleza anasemanga alimnyonga hmm. na akamuinua juu hmm. ndio akamtembesha hmm. alimtembesha mpaka hapa hii ndio ilikuwa climb of sea vile tulikuja na askari hapa hmm. tulipata royco hmm. tukapata slippers na tukapata shilingi tano change tu nilikuwa nimempatia 20 bob. Sasa alikuja na kumi kwa nyumba kobori ikabaki hapa. Juu kama ningejua mtoto wangu atakufa shilingi tano, afadhali wangekula hiyo siku kubwa bila Royco. Vile huyo mtu walimaliza kitendo yake, alipanda na huku juu akielekea kwa kanisa. That road leads to this church full gospel charge the suspect a baba shown as is commonly known here allegedly hid in the charge soon after committing the crime watu wa kanisa wanamtetea wakisema ya kwamba huyo mtu alishinda kwa kanisa lakini alitoka masaa ya saa kumi. E, na akaenda na akarudi e. the suspect is a pianist at the church He presented himself to the police. He was arrested and arraigned at Makadara Law Court. The suspect is now out on a bond. But this disturbing trend has also caught a man of God with an even bigger title. A bishop accused of repeatedly defiling a 12-year-old girl, breaking her spinal cord, as his wife tells us. Siku hiyo hii ambayo nilienda kazi ndio siku hiyo usiku akaambia yule mtoto wa kike ndio wa 10 na kwa 11 moja hivi. Na yeye ndio ubaki peke yake akiwa mtoto wa kike wale wengine vijana. Akaambia kwamba usiende kulala kule mama alisema ubaki hapa ulale kwa bedroom ya wageni. Mhm. Basi ndio akalala pale. Mhm. Alipolala pale si ndio baba akamkuta usiku. Mhm. Akamchukua akampeleka kwa nini kwa bedroom yetu. Mhm. Ndio siku hiyo alianza kufanya na yeye. Mhm. I went to meet him. Hii mchungaji nafanya vitu kama hizi. Na nina mke wangu hapa. Mimi nina mke wangu hapa. Na mama tunaishi naye hapa wote wawili. Na watoto si huyo mmoja. Tuna wengine na tunaishi hapa tukifanya kazi hii kama watumishi wa Mungu hatujawahi kuwa na visa kama ya unawiti we will call the victim grace not her real name she comes from a poor background in gilgil and she had been brought to this rescue center in nairobi which is done by the bishop to help her meet her daily needs but the bishop would allegedly prey on her at night wanasema uli limawiti hata siku moja hata mbele ya Mungu mwenyezi hata haijawahi fanyika haijawahi fanyika 
Mbele ya Mungu mwenyezi haijawahi fajika. One of the bishop's daughters witnessed it all. Medical examinations confirmed that Grace had indeed been defiled. Grace has been taken to a safe house. The bishop was taken to court and released on bail. As we continued with our investigations, we came across shocking revelations. More than 30 cases of defilement involving religious leaders have been reported in the last few months in Nairobi. We had a total of 12 survivors who were abused within by religious leaders. Uh, four of them were adults and, and uh, five of them were children who were abused within the religious institutions. And then we have a further three children who were abused, but not within the religious institution, but in other settings like the home or the schools, but by religious leaders. In Gong, the act became even more bizarre with one so-called man of God doing the unthinkable. Kuna makuta pasta alikuwa natumia. Anawapea ni ya kukuza mapepo. Mtoto hata kiekwa kwa kitanda anabiwa sasa hii mafuta inayekwa. Yende ikutane na yenye ilingilia kwa mdomo. Mtoto alikuwa anawekwa mafuta hata. Wanaekewa kwa mdomo. Ye mwenye wanajipaka. Sana waingize hiyo ingine. Analala na wawo. Ile mafuta itakutana na hii na mtu akisema atakufa kwa hivyo mtu asiseme. Akilala na wana ambia, sema ndamu ya Yesu ingie ndani yangu inioshe initakaze saa ni maombi. The events unfolded in this church. Fastborn Ministries when it became a routine she got pregnant. She gave birth to a baby boy who is 4 years old now. The man of God was arrested but denied the allegations and the court ordered for a DNA. The tests came back positive. Five years later, the case is still in court. We came across many cases when we were working on this story. Some of the victims declined to speak to us. Five opted for an out-of-court settlement with the accused. Many more are the silent majority out there whose stories no one will ever know. Purity Mwambia, Citizen TV.